everybody, it's Tyson here. Just wanted to give you a little checkpoint update on the 1996 2.5 TL. Today is September 10th. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona, and it has been exactly one month to the day since this car arrived on a transport truck from Seattle, Washington in my driveway. And so I'm pretty proud of how things have come along so far. And I'll read you just a little bit of an itemized list of what we've accomplished in the last four weeks. Uh, this is in no particular order, but it'll kind of give you a sense of just how much effort has gone into this thing uh, since it landed. So I got a reproduction window sticker, thanks to my buddy Jason. Uh, paint has been polished and protected. I removed a pinstripe on one of the fenders that was uh, uh, mismatched. Polished the headlights, refinished the wiper arms, removed the wheel weights. Uh, I had a couple OEM keys made, tinted the windows, uh, created a literature library, including some magazines that I found on eBay. Uh, factory floor mats, a cigarette lighter that was missing, detailed the engine bay, sourced an owner's manual, had both bumpers refinished and repainted. I repainted the brake calipers, cleaned the wheel wells, had an oil and filter change, had paintless dent removal done, I uh, replaced the fog lamp bulbs, got a new windshield, uh, reinstalled an OEM head unit to the dashboard, repainted the black, uh, black windshield trim, repainted the muffler, uh, reinstalled the 2.5 TL badge that was missing from the trunk, and had the rear spoiler painted and installed. So in all, I have about a, a 40 item list of things that I wanted to do to this car. I've already done about 30 of them in only four weeks time. So pretty remarkable stuff. Uh, I've only put about 250 miles on it, so haven't driven it a heck of a lot, but I'm hoping that time will come. Uh, last but not least, I do want to mention there are some outstanding mechanical needs on this car. So as you all know, uh, as I knew when I got the car, the climate control is not working. So I have a little bit of work ahead of me to, to get that taken care of, some parts on the way. And as well as there was very little history in terms of timing belt maintenance. So I'm gonna have that changed out as well, probably here in the next couple months. But I'm very happy with the progress already and it's been a really fun turnaround. So thanks for coming along for the ride. Speaking of the literature library, I thought you all would get a kick out of this. So one of the magazines I picked up is Car and Driver, August of 95, featuring an article written by a friend and colleague of mine, Frank Marcus. Frank now works for Motor Trend, but at that time, 25 years ago, he was with Car and Driver. So I asked him just for kicks if he'd like to personalize my copy of his Car and Driver. And so I sent it to his home in Michigan and he sent it back and look what his inscription says. First of all, the, the article itself wasn't very complimentary about the TL, which is why he called it a strong argument against the need for punitive trade tariffs. But here's the message. Tyson, the fact that you still wanted one of these after reading this review speaks poorly of my powers of persuasion. Then again, 262,000 miles. What's the old saying? Where's like ugly carpet? Enjoy, Frank Marcus. How cool is that, right? a special signed piece of memorabilia for the collection.